If you're tired of the same old cone drills, we're gonna add some variations to them to make them a little bit more fun. Really great to do if you're preparing for an upcoming event like the GS Trophy. We've got cone slalom set out at four meters. And for a little variation at the end, we've got a track stand where you pull into a box and you need to come to a full stop and then pull away. Slalom with the track stand. It's a timed event, so you need to go as quickly as you can through the cones, four meters apart, come in and come to a full stop. No foot down and then drive away. So this is a timed event, so you need to be smooth and fast as you come through here. But then at the end, you don't want to be coming so fast that when you hit the brakes, you rebound and lose your balance. Why not add some fun to your cone slalom and add an element at the end? Score goal. When you go to score the goal, it's important to count the cones before you get into the event to ensure that you come to the ball with the bike the other way so that your foot can be on the brake pedal and slide the bike into the ball. It can be done this way, but there's a higher likelihood that you can't put your foot down and still be on the brake. We're going to be riding an offset gated slalom. The tall cones are at five meters apart and the yellow cones are two meters wide of the tall cones. Really want to practice on proficiency through this, not rush through it. That's where the mistakes happen is when you try and rush it. Going through the drills, practicing, you'll become more proficient and with proficiency will come the speed. The trick with the tall cone is that handlebar has to really be clear of the cone as you come through so that you don't hit it. And same thing with the rear of the bike. If you have any panniers on the back of the bike, it can snag on those if you're not used to making the turns a little bit wider. This exercise is the fastest U-turn. Goal is to drive down as fast as you can, make a U-turn and cross the line. On the U-turn, you are allowed to put a foot down to help spin the bike around. This exercise is the lift and go. You need to start in the start box. When they say go, you run over. You need to lift the bike, walk on the left side of the bike through the cones. Halfway down, you need to mount the bike, get on the other side of the bike, and slalom the cones walking the bike. At the end, get on the bike and slalom back. Time clock stops when you get back inside the box. Because this is a timed event, for me, the quickest way to do this lift is to come down and lift with the handlebar and use my hip to push the bike. If I take the time to do the standard lift where I'm lifting from behind, turning, and then walking, it's much longer. If you have a bag on the back, I highly recommend taking it off so that you'll be able to more easily get your leg over at the halfway point when you need to mount the other side of the bike to finish the course. As soon as the timer says go, run over, hit the start button so that the computer turns on, lift the bike up, fire up the bike. Now, friction zone through the cones without hitting any of the cones. At the halfway point here, you need to bring the bike to a full stop, mount the other side of the bike. If you're tall, you're lucky, you can just swing your leg over and carry on. Now the tough one about this is you're on the outside of this turn. To be able to make the bike come back, you need to bring the bike to a full stop, remount the bike, and ride the slalom back. It's a real test of your 
physical stamina because you have that exertion right off the beginning of lifting the bike so you want to be smooth on the way back remember the timer stops as you exit the bike and then re-emerge into the start box